everybody. If you're checking out this video, it's because you're interested in giving voice feedback to your students. So I'm going to share two Chrome extensions that you can use to give voice feedback right inside Google Docs that might speed up the way you can communicate with your kids, kind of take over from using those templates of uh, copying and pasting comments you might have made before, and maybe give you some more valuable opportunities to share your voice with the kids now that they're here in remote learning. So let's take a look. I recently assigned some students an opportunity to look at a which one doesn't belong problem. If you're not familiar with which one doesn't belong, definitely check out wodb.ca. There's some great examples there. But long story short, there's four choices and none of them are wrong. All I really want kids to do is pick one, identify a characteristic about it, and explain themselves. And that's a great way to get started with any discussion and with any class. So they had to choose one of these numbers that didn't belong. And when this student said 17 because it's the only prime and 65 because the numbers don't add up to 8. I'm going to use those two solutions to show you two different voice recording apps I can use to give voice feedback. The first is called Moat. You see this M up here, and that is for Moat. If you install it from the Chrome Web Store, it's going to appear in your comments section when you start to add a comment. So when I click plus to add a comment here, there is the M. Oop. There is the M. And when I click that, hey, I really like how you chose 17 because it's the only prime. You're right. 17 is the only prime. Good job. Done. It's going to take a second to think about it because it's not only going to provide you the verbal recording, but it's also going to provide a transcript. Check out what happens when I click comment. It says making your transcript. Hey, I really like how you chose 17 because it's the only prime. You're right said. Wait, is that what I said? Let's wait a second until this transcription's over and uh, take a look at what it says here. Click edit, because now you can change that. I really like how you chose 17 because it's the only prime. You're right, 17 is the only prime, good job. Well, I guess I just want some punctuation. It's the only prime. You're right, exclamation point. 17 is the only prime, good job, update. Now, sometimes I will update that with just, hey, listen to the voice comment. And you should also know that there's an opportunity to translate that into multiple different languages. But here's the recording it got. Hey, I really like how you chose 17 because it's the only prime. You're right, 17 is the only prime. Good job. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna delete that for now to get it out of the way. Now, when it comes to a second choice, I really like Moat as my top choice, but a second choice is the extension called Talk and Comment. Talk and Comment, when you install it, puts this up here and it also puts a similar identical to it on the side. You don't have to be in comments in order to be able to use talk and comment. When I click this, it's going to immediately start recording. And I'm going to use the second example of 65 to show how to use this one. Hey, I like how you chose 65 saying because the numbers don't add up to eight. That's really creative. But I like to point out that 17, 26, 44, and 65 are all numbers. So what did you really mean when you said the numbers don't add up to eight? Can you clarify that for me? And then it's going to take a second for that audio to render, just like the last one. You're not going to get a transcript with this one. And you're also going to get a pop-up window with a link to that voice note. Copy that link, go to your comments, add the comment, and paste it in. And you will now have your comment ready to go. However, with talk and comment, I've noticed one little thing. It seems to voice modulate a little bit. It's bringing my voice down. Hey, I like how you chose 65, saying because the numbers don't add up to eight. That's really creative. Yeah, I can't listen to that. It sounds like I'm trying to kidnap this math problem. But either way, talking comment is a great backup. Moat is my primary way to use voice commentary. And I hope you can use it to comment on student work or student solutions, or maybe even use it to read instructions to your students or share any type of verbal commentary you want to give back. So that's it. Those are my two top Chrome extensions for voice comments. So there you have it. Two Chrome extensions you can use to provide voice feedback to your students, Moat and Talking Comment. You can install them from the Chrome Web Store and the links for those are down below this in the comments section. So if you like the video and you start sharing voice comments with your kids, subscribe to my channel, share the video with your teacher friends, and drop a comment in to see how it works. I'd love to hear your experiences. Thanks.